it, we're talking both ways. I, I, no, I'm not pointing fingers or individuals because that's not the case at all. We're all going to have difference of opinions. There's, there's no problem with that. It's just being respectful about their difference of opinions. I've, you know, I know every resident that reaches out to me via email, I respond to them, I comment with them, and it may be something like, you know, we're going to have to agree to disagree on that. But, but I, I don't think it's just the, the residents to the board or the board to the residents. I think it also is the board to the board and the board to the administration. So I just, I just think that everyone just needs to understand that there's going to be difference of opinions and just maintain that level of civility and respect at all times, even if we don't like the other opinion. And, and a lot of times it's not what, what's said, it's the delivery. And I believe we just need to be careful and kind of measure our tone at times. Um, I know I will. I have always done it that way. And if um, anyone feels that I'm not doing it the way it should be, please let me know. And I'll promise to do better as well. And another comment I just want to make about the individual, Jeff, just so you're aware, is that we did send this individual a letter in December that he was to watch his tone, watch his respect level. So this gentleman does have a letter from the board in December last year. It was last year's board. Dave and I were still on the board, but this gentleman does have a letter that I'll send you that we sent on behalf of the board to him watching his tone in that. So again, for him to derail that and you know he has to live by that letter that he's he's to watch his tone and and um watch his behavior yeah and i don't want to do thanks john i don't want to derail things here i just want i want to pause there and it's up to the board here whether we want to 